I'm Amber Bartlett, and I'm going to show you some different ways to tie a scarf. According to the college fashion website, since the ancient Roman times, scarves have been used as both a necessity and an accessory. Many girls are guilty of scrolling through Pinterest for tips and ideas on how to wear their new clothes. I, too, have spent countless hours looking for fashion advice. As soon as it started getting closer to fall, I began looking into different ways to wear a scarf. Today I will show you some, some of the different ways to wear a scarf for both warmth and fashion. First, let's look at some of the different ways to wear a scarf for its functionality, warmth. According to an eHow website, the main purpose of a winter scarf is to keep you warm. The most popular way to wear a scarf to stay warm is by wearing it around your neck. According to Men's Health Magazine, one of the most common and simple techniques of tying a scarf to stay warm is by using the Parisian knot. In order to do this, you must have a scarf that has two separate ends that are not connected. Fold the scarf in half so that the ends line up, and then place it around the back of your neck and pull the separate ends through the loop and pull them down so that this gives you more of a choker look. This will keep both your neck and your chest covered for warmth. According to Infinity Scarfs Online, another convenient way to wear a scarf, or to wear a neck scarf, is the classic double. This method involves an infinity scarf, or a circle scarf. You simply double wrap the circle scarf around your neck and pull the loops so that they are uneven. The top loop should cover your throat and you can separate them and make them cover more of your chest. This technique is used for both warmth and fashion. The next way to tie a scarf to stay warm is to wear it around your shoulder like you would a shawl. This is typically used in a more formal setting, such as to cover up your shoulders when you wear a strapless or sleeveless dress or top. This requires a larger scarf material so that you can simply drape it around your shoulders. Now that you have learned how to stay warm, Let's look at some of the ways scarves are used for fashion. In more recent times, scarves are used as an accessory to adorn an outfit. One way to embellish your outfit is with a traditional neck scarf. This is the most general way people wear scarves. Almost all methods for wearing a neck scarf can be fashionable. One way to wear it like you would a, one way is to wear it like you would a necklace. When using a long scarf, place the material around your neck with both ends in front. and tie a soft knot or put a pin in it halfway down, about right there. If you're wearing an infinity scarf, you can simply put the circle around your neck and have it dangle loosely. Scarves are also worn often as belts. String the scarf through your belt loop and tie it in front or at the side. If you're wearing a jacket or an oversized t-shirt, you can also tie a scarf around your waist and have the knot in front or at the side. Wearing a scarf as a hair accessory is another way to embellish your outfit. A shorter, thinner scarf can be tied around your ponytail to add some fun to your hair. You could also roll or fold a scarf and wrap it around your forehead, either tying on top or underneath your hair like you would a headband. Head wraps can also be used for fashion decorations as well, not only cultural use. According to the St. Petersburg Times, Jackie O. Kennedy was a big fashion icon for headscarves. As you can see, a scarf can be a very versatile adornment. Remember, there are several ways to wear your scarf, whether it's around your neck and shoulders for warmth, or around your waist and head for fashion. Next time you are picking up a scarf to wear, think about whether you want to wear it to warm yourself up or to embellish your outfit. With the fall season amongst us, scarves are an essential clothing item to be added to your daily wardrobe. Now you know several methods to use your scarf, so don't be afraid and tie away. Thank you.